I still don't know what story I want us to read, if I can be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll spend Daya on whatever. Same. Is there any story that you want to read? Some of like the like idol stories. Like it doesn't have to be an event story. You know that is a good point. Why do I have T1 look for Kaoru? Why is he there? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it <he> <laughs> him? Unsurprisingly, I have the most unlocked for nights. Oh, I have the whole, the one with Ray, the like, the succession match. I have all of that one unlocked. I don't want to read Ryu Tai. They give me a headache at this point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I have most of the one with Ray, but I'm willing to unlock the rest. Yeah. You want to do that one? Down for that one. Some Sakuma is a treat. <laughs> Ray Sakuma balls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we're doing that one then. Starting with the prologue, of course. Past last spring. Yeah, I have all of it unlocked, but I don't think I've like read it. I don't even, even know what happens in this event. God. Yeah, I definitely haven't read it. It's not Knights for Valkyrie, so that's not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two years ago in late spring, hmm. Kato immediately. All right. <laughs> How do you Kato voice? Um, <laughs> figs, carrots, sari, shiitake mushrooms, six pieces of burdock, greens, leaves, rotten tofu. <sighs> I see Kiryu's right in saying I can work out my abs more effectively if I do while speaking out loud. What? <laughs> <laughs> Working out? I thought you were thinking about today's menu. Well, please stop appearing from nowhere, Sakuma. Oi, oi. Still calling my last name, huh? After all those things, typical of you, kid. If you have problems with how they call you, don't address others like that. Don't call me kid. I'm not a child anymore. Don't you make fun of a monk's son. He seemed to think that you said something clever, and that's getting on my nerves. <laughs> eh? What do you want then, little K? Hey, chan Feels like the old days. <laughs> don't take the liberty of inventing things in the past. Only your little brother called me that. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. You came to visit him when we were all little. My brother has always been feeble and had little contact with others, but he never forgets the kindness of others. I'm sure he's so grateful to you, Hasumi. It seems he's also been enrolled in Yuminosaki Academy, so he might be a good substitute for me. <laughs> hmm. No need for your referral. I've already found someone suitable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> if you dare mess up with my sweet little brother, I'll kill you. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a joke, Sakuma. <laughs> because I'm serious. Mind you, I've come to think pretty lowly of you ever since the recent Dead Man's Live. You think it used to... I think that it used to take me a good five sec to decide whom to choose between Ritsu and you. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry to have disappointed you then. Nah. And if that's the case, what are you doing here today anyway? I'm sure you don't have much time to spare for such an insignificant person as me, right? Hmm. Again, I had that for you in the past. I'm not speaking in a physical sense. I mean right now. I just don't feel like it. 
I see you came here to piss me off. Go pay a visit to Buddha themselves, then, since they are much more accommodating than I am, and they will listen to you forever. <laughs> hmm. You mean Buddha saves even vampires? That's much kinder than I thought. What? So tell me, why wasn't I saved? So not. Don't ask <laughs> me. I'm not even a monk, let alone a Buddha. There's no way I can save you. Thoughts. <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing all of a sudden? Stop wielding that altar fitting. Are you some assassin trying to kill me? <laughs> no, look at the television. That old TV program is on air. It made me nostalgic. I didn't help myself imitating it. Feels like I'm a child again. Oh. No, I thought it would be more efficient if I could gather information while working out. So I put a portable TV on the wall for some random programs. Plus, it feels like I'm doing Buddhist practice if I work out here in a silence, since this place gives a strong Buddhist vibe. <laughs> hmm, a rerun of Vampire General. <laughs> I was wondering what show it could be. I sure missed this one. It was really popular around the time we met. Yeah, you used to love this kid. <laughs> you even tried to hit me with a wooden sword painted red, saying, Yeah, yeah, I'm the greatest general in the world. Forget it. It was youthful stupidity. <laughs> also, you're calling me kid again. <sighs> Just forget it and shut it. It's getting to the best part now. <laughs> so true, Ball. Why watch Vampire General when a vampire's right in front of him? <laughs> uh -huh. This feels familiar. Like, I feel like I've heard them mention that before. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> Thoughts, again, from both of them, tension. Hey, Hasumi. Hmm? What, Sakuma? What? <laughs> when you were a child, you wanted to become the protagonist of a story. You wanted to play the leading role. Tsunayoshi Tokugawa in this vampire general, the popular culture period drama that's for all laughs. Yeah, in hindsight, I was too naive. I really was a child. I even thought that Tsunayoshi's edicts on compassion for living things was a gentle policy that valued life. Hmm. It was indeed a gentle policy, but the world was too filthy to apply and enforce that clean policy properly. Thoughts. Ugh. Hey, my friend. When did you forget your dreams? Or rather, when did you give up on your dreams? Alright. <laughs> um... Present era. Oh, we're normal. Yep, we're yeah. normal. <laughs> At dusk, one day in late spring. I guess that's kind of our present time. Late spring. This is so random, but I've never seen the Rhythm Link office. <laughs> I don't think I have either now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us care. <laughs> For me, it's either like Cospro or Nudie. Mostly Nudie, to yeah. be honest. For me, it's Cospro or Star Pro, so <laughs> we don't belong here. <laughs> no. Oh, it's Selma. <laughs> Hasumi Dono. Hasumi Dono, Hasumi Dono, are you having a dream? This sounds like you're acting in a period drama, or should I say, you might be imitating my speech patterns. Oh. Am I in your dream? It is a great honor that you care so much about me. Oh, no. I'm curious about the details of your dream, so please wake up. Ask me, don't know. Uh. Hey, don't wake the sleeping child. I don't know what's going on with him lately, but he looks tired, so there's no rush to wake him up right now. Let him rest a little longer. Yeah. That's a needless concern, Kiryu. <sighs> It's truly incompetent of me to fall asleep in workplace. Oh. Well, you do it quite often these days. Not getting enough sleep at night. I know me since too. we. <laughs> I know since we started living in the dorms, more and more people are getting sick because of the change in environment. But you're not that delicate, right? Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with the dorms. It's more comfortable than it needs to be because HE spent more than enough bills to make it the best place to live. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like it's a bad thing. What? 
To me, everything has suddenly become so gorgeous. I could have never imagined anything like this when I lived in my own poor home. I'm not entirely used to it, though. I miss my little sister when I wake up in the morning. Hmm. I understand. I miss my younger brother, too. Also, I just can't get used to this feeling called bed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, to some extent, it is possible to modify the interior and furniture to suit the taste of the idols if you approach the superintendent of the Seisokan apartment. I miss the Tommy too, and I'm looking into the possibility of making a Japanese-style room, even if it's just the space I occupy. Hmm. Hmm. I also long for the smell of its grass, but I think I must get used to the common sense of the world. I've adapted to the kitchen utensils, but I still feel bad that I'd sometimes start a fire from the outlet. Oh my god, what? Oi, oi. So it was you who caused the fire the other day, Kanzaki. I thought I got to be Tetsu burning something again. Again. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I was rolling up my sleeves, thinking I finally got to scold him as a senior after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I used to lecture Kanzaki for his unmodern behavior in the past. But I feel that recently, all members of Akatsuki are messing things up more frequently. We need to learn from others, make up our minds, and live with a sense of humility. Hmm. Got it. So, back to the point. Why were you napping around here, Hasumi? Hmm. I was also wondering... It's not like you to display such an inelegance, Hasumi Dono, that I couldn't believe my eyes when I first spotted you. <laughs> Aren't you someone who often sleeps while standing? Yeah. I know, but when others see me doing that, they can laugh it off, thinking that I'm just the usual airhead. In your case, I'd say they'd naturally feel worried, Hasumi Dono. Oh. Yeah, you're working so hard last year that sometimes your face looked terrible, but these days, Vyakotsky is rather free. So if you're exhausted and fall asleep, we surely will worry about you. Oh. Hmm. I won't say your concerns are needless again. Thanks, both of you. Daga. But I assure you there's nothing to worry about. In fact, we have yet been able to make a name for ourselves in this long-established rhythm link, and we haven't done anything noteworthy. It feels so different from last year. We've got too much free time on our hands now. So I feel like I'm putting too much effort into each job, and I'm weirdly tired. Last year, I was sure that the whole unit would fall apart if I collapsed, so I kept my guard up and made sure I was in good health. <sighs> Recently, I do feel like I'm slacking off. I'd say I'm not doing a good job of regulating my output. I would feel unusual fatigue after playing around the whole day like a child. It's like I'm an old man who forces himself to take a cold shower. I guess you just can't beat your age. Hopeless. I should have said that to describe someone like Sokka and not me. <laughs> 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 Isn't it Sakuma's specialty to sleep everywhere regardless of how others think of him? I think you're becoming more and more like him, Hasumi. Yeah. There's no reason for that to happen. I still have very little contact with that guy, even though we are now in the same agency. Telling him off for his langor is all I do in the regular briefing sessions after the summit. Oh. Oh right, the regular briefing. That's why we got together today. Today. But I forgot that amongst these chit-chats. Oi, oi. No, oh, come on. Seriously. You sure you're okay, Hasumi? You seem happier than you were in the last two years. Which is a good trend. But aren't you losing yourself a bit too much now? Mm. I agree. I also feel that you are zoning out more than before, Hasumi Dono. I'm sorry. I can't help it. That's typical of a workaholic. I've been working for so long that I don't know what to do when I was suddenly told that I could do whatever I wanted. When I was a little kid, there were so many things I wanted to do that I even felt 24 hours a day was not enough. Oh my. A couple of minutes later... God, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> what if I voiced him like, hey? <laughs> do it. <laughs> hey, come.
come by, all you good children of Akatsuki. Grandpa Ray will tell you a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I doubt if you're the childhood friend I knew. Tsuka. I mean, I know it's a bit late to ask, but why do you keep that ridiculous way of talking even after graduation, Sakamo? <laughs> I don't think old fashioned is the right word for his speech pattern, though. Mm. Anyway, he kept me waiting longer than I thought. Did the summit take too long? I've heard that people all had different opinions, and there were loads of problems. Mm. Indeed. It seems this fleeting world hardly goes the way we want. Well, since I slept through most. Through most summits, I only have a little vague grasp of the events. Gora. Don't sleep. You need to be more serious. Don't make me lecture you at this point. Mm. Alright, but the agenda these days is full of matters that are depressing to the ears. Under the fancy name Summit, it is essentially just a neighborhood association coordinating mutual interests. Daga. Still, it's an important occasion for our representatives to get together and discuss issues. While you're dozing off, some have their problems solved through dirtier and more violent means than discussion. I won't ask you to save everything anymore, but you should at least try to help those within your reach. I know, though, that I'm in no position to ask. Ma. I got Kaoru. Uh... <laughs> No, come on. Don't be too harsh on my mate, Mr. Glasses. <laughs> on his what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak badly of the glasses. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I pretended I forgot your name and tried to hurt your self-esteem. See, my friend is a under one-sided attack, so you should excuse me for this bit of revenge. I didn't mean to attack him. But I'll reflect on that. Apparently I have a bad habit of being too harsh on people I know well, like Ichi. Mm. <laughs> mm. But Hasumi Dono, you always treat me gently and kindly, don't you? Oh. No, he does not. He's been so <laughs> mean to Soma. <laughs> <laughs> Rest assured, it does not mean that I am not close to you. In your case, I may unconsciously be too careful about how I treat you, for I have hurt you before. I may be trying too hard not to repeat my mistakes. But why, Hasumi Dono? I don't remember you'd ever hurt me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's more like if there's a way to hurt Soma, I'd like to know. He's as tough as steel as ever. Okay, coward. <laughs> I'm not hurt, but I feel like I've been made a fool of, so I'm going to slay <laughs> you! <laughs> I forgot Soma and Kaoru have something. <laughs> I love that for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love chit chats. I have to pay visits to the other units after this. So let's make this quick, shall we? I understand that you are delighted to have a friendly chatter with me, but I believe you understand the situation, do you? We are not like Ogami. So Speaking of whom, I won't see the junior members of Undead that often. So you are working separately now? Ah. Most kids need to go to school after all. What about you, Soma? You know, I'm somewhat worried about you, since I always see you in the ES. Is your attendance okay? Hmm. There's no need to worry. The rule that the rule is that if you are involved in idle activities, you do not have to attend classes. Eh? Really? I wish they would have made that rule earlier. Last year I was accused of being a slacker by everyone. <laughs> It's because you'd also been skipping idle activities, Kaladifun. Alright, as usual, I will brief you all on this summit. Oh. Yeah, that's why we're all here. Thanks for all your hard work every time. Mm. So, rather, I want to thank you for being here. I could have just talked with Hasumi alone if I were to inform him of what happened. So -mo -so -mo. I think Cold Hands was developed for that kind of communication in the first place. You should just text me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should properly utilize the tools of civilization. It's inefficient for us to meet up like this every time. Mm. Hmm. But if 
feels lonely when we are connected only through electronic ways. Ma. Well, it's good that we have a lot of spare time these days, too. It does feel a bit strange for a good group of people skeezing into such a small room. Skeezing? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a typo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I know Hasumi is overprotective. Or rather, he decides on himself what we don't need to hear, and he would carry the burden all by himself. So we come along. Mm. Yes, he indeed tends to do that. I expect nothing less from you, Kiryu. I see you two are like an old couple who have lived together for a long time. <laughs> I guess it's a good metaphor since sometimes he does talk to me in an intimate way, but... <laughs> But I've been thinking, you don't usually talk with people your age that way, do you? Oy, oy. Wow, you're bringing that up now? It's alright for me, but I've gotten used to it. Or do you want us to call each other by your first names, like these two guys from Undead? Mm. <laughs> yes, I recommend doing so, since I feel we are closer by calling our first names. How annoying. Stop prattling already. We certainly have a lot of free time these days, but our time is not infinite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we are not really some undead after all. Mm. Well done, my buddy. That was a neat <laughs> wrap up of the conversation. <laughs> all right. Actually, it has been difficult for me to say this. I'm getting a little tongue tied. But let's get to the topic, shall we? Ugh. Possibly. I have unfortunate news for you. Uh, thank you for the follow, Brandon. I appreciate it. Question mark from Kato, though. That's exciting. When, um, Kaoru was, like, called him glasses and was like, sorry, I, like, forgot your name. I'm like, you guys were in the same class in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Ray calling Kaoru his buddy. That was weird. <laughs> What did you say? Vampire General has been cancelled? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I could not believe my eyes when I saw this on the summit handouts. To be exact, the cancellation has not yet been made official. It seems that the production company went bankrupt, and as a result, it has become difficult for them to make a new title. Hmm. There are examples of a franchise recovering from such a situation, but this series is already effectively discontinued. Also, it seems that the film division of Rhythm Link is also involved, as there has been a brief mention of it in the business report. Ah. It's irrelevant to us idols, so I, it was not even on the agenda of the summit. So I thought I should share this with you, Hasumi. <laughs> no way. It can't be. It's that vampire general we are talking about. Indeed, we have seen it any of its new releases in the last oh we haven't seen any of its new releases in the last decade but wasn't it a historical masterpiece that contributed to the popularization of our country's film and tv industry hmm. i suppose it means that past fame and achievements are simply worthless in this bleak day and age i know nothing lasts forever in this world but i never expected that vampire general would Nanda. hey wait a sec you two are leaving the rest of us behind. What is this vampire general? <laughs> Never heard of it. Have you, Konzaki? Yes, I remember it's a movie from a long time ago. A period drama or something like that. I'm shocked Soma's heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My family was probably involved, but we taught or advised them on sword battles. I've seen a videotape about it on the bookshelf at home. Ugh. I had a strong impression because it stood out on those shelves that were full of old books. Unfortunately, I don't know how to watch a videotape, so I never checked its contents. <laughs> Soon my father would scold me if I touched anything on the bookshelf without permission. <laughs> <laughs> Videotapes. Didn't know it was that old. I thought it was at least a DVD or something. No wonder I haven't heard about it then. It was probably made before we were born. So why do you two know about it? Does something happen to make it special to you? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's just that you don't remember it, Kiryu, or simply because trends differ in every cycle. 
When we were kids, there was a rerun of that TV series, and Hasami and I were hooked on it. We imitated the swordplay in the show and played sword fights with each other. <laughs> to me, the TV series brings back many lovable memories. Right, Hasumi? Actually, I thought there was no way a Japanese would have been never known vampire general. It's a national legend. It's critically acclaimed in other countries, and has profoundly influenced on today's filmmakers. Oy, oy. Hey, don't talk so fast all of a sudden. And don't assume that everyone else knows what you know. You're displaying the entire <laughs> bad side of a nerd. <laughs> He's nerdsplaining. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with being a nerd? It's not, <laughs> it's not the first time that a series I like get cancelled, but... I feel more shocked than I thought. It's like I can never get used to people's deaths no matter how many times I have experienced them. Oh my god. <laughs> Above all, I am remorseful that I didn't even notice Vampire General was in such a critical situation. Small. I'm sorry, ah! Suna. <laughs> oh dear. You good? Sorry, I'm okay. I dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Suna Yoshi. Okiku. Gombe. I couldn't protect you. As your fan, I failed you so much. Mm. Huh? What are you talking <laughs> about? Characters in the series? Stop mumbling like you're saying incantations. You truly are acting strange these days, you know? <sighs> <laughs> I am praying for the series to rest in peace. There's nothing else I can do for it now. That's... Stress. Adonis! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry for being late. May I join the meeting now? Oh. Koga! <laughs> <laughs> that was Koga, right? Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you looking all gloomy? Some accident happened? <laughs> and you stink of incense, bastard glasses. We'll try to show off that you're the son of a monk by chanting the Buddhist prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother Hasumi at every turn, Mogami, as it makes you look like you want his attention. <laughs> Rivlin is a long-established agency with a seniority system, so you should at least pretend to respect your seniors. Yep, yep, I'm no match for you, Kiryu. Didn't you all become preachy since you graduated? Are you aging badly or something? Sumana. <laughs> Sorry about that. Something bad happened on campus today, and Ogami is having a rough day. Eh, rough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad? What's wrong, Koga? Did your horoscope this morning tell you that you're gonna have a bad day? Huh? Huh? I don't care about horoscopes. I don't even know mine. I already solved the school matters myself, so there's no need to talk about it here. It's not something that'll bother you guys, so just forget about it. Oh. Aren't you having a meeting? Go ahead, don't mind us. Hmm. Hmm. We started late, so we haven't reached the main topic yet. Let's put aside Vampire General for a moment and talk about something more related to idols, shall we? Uh -huh. What the heck is Vampire General? I can't imagine you vampire bastard wearing a top knot and laughing aloud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Sakuma would still look dignified even in such an appearance. So you don't know about this show, Ogami? I thought it was well known in Japan. Cool. Huh? Why do you sound like you know about this stuff? Aren't you the one who usually knows nothing and has to turn to me or Zaki for help? Mm. See, I was like, who is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't call me Zaki. <laughs> Ogami Dono. I'm not used to that nickname. It makes me itch. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, on stars. Alright, enough shit chats. The main topic of this summit was the deteriorating public safety in one of the areas under Rhythm Link's administration. Mm -hmm. Deteriorating public safety? That ain't usually a topic that comes up at idol meetings. I get it if it were a real summit where heads of states gather, but isn't this one and yes something like a neighborhood meeting that got a needlessly grand name? Oh. Yes, I know, that worsening public safety is a serious problem, but I think it's the government's job to deal with it. For example, the police could see into it. Did I say anything wrong? Yeah. 
No, you're always right, Adonis. <laughs> but what's concerning us is the area's safety problems. It's a lot of special zone for idols into which Rhythm Link investigated considerable capital more than a decade ago. Uh. To be exact, it is not a special zone for idols, but a special music zone. The idea was to revitalize the entire area through music. They built institutions like colleges for singers, composers, and performers. They built and supported numerous music stores and live houses to encourage musical activities, thereby promoting this area as a whole. Well, it's just another typical feat of rehabilitation, revitalization. Re <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this story before, but I can't help but feel it's copying the ES. Though chronologically, ES came much later. Hmm. Yes, but compared with ES, the special music zone was just a cave of, or a mouthpiece. It didn't motivate the local residents or the councils in a concrete manner. In the end, it faded away without any notable results and was nothing more than a trend within a short period of time. Hmm. Really? Did it even go on a trend? I never heard about it. Why is everything like news to me here? Mm. Well, you would at least recall some part if you were a little bit into music like me. It was a long time ago, so it's an old story for our generation. Ugh. I heard like some senior to the senior of one of my former bandmates once went to this special music zone trying to make a name for himself. In that area, they were also willing to sponsor band members who were always short of money. Ugh. Well, the result was disappointing, and it turned out to be no different from working locally. Also, those who went to the special music zone came back shortly after. Sort of underachieving band members who used to frequent the live house where I performed were always complaining about this place. Oh. At the time, I was having so much fun and obsessed with learning new riffs. So I quickly forgot these old grandpa tales. No, I heard about that. Sounds like it's a well-known but not well-reputed story in the industry. Some who opened live houses or shops in that special music zone were forced to break their contracts. Some are heavily indebted because they failed to get as many customers as they expected. Mm. How come you knew so much about such topics, Hakaze Dono? Ah. Well, I used to manage a live house. Yes, he used to run the gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Crossroads is about. <laughs> mm. Right now, my big bro, my elder brother, has taken it over and is doing it alongside the family business. He wants me to concentrate on my idol activities. Oh. Uh, now that you mention it, you did run the live house in Yuminosaki's neighborhood. Yeah, Koga, you were literally there. <laughs> <laughs> you know... I wish you'd remember that, Koga. <laughs> <laughs> After all, you were the one who went there the most. Do you have any idea how much favor I've done for you and Undead? Yeah. It's really hard running a live house. You may say that ES is something out of the norm, or rather, it's edging in the country's economy without question, but basically music doesn't make much money. Oh. Yeah, my sister's told me many times that I should have chosen a more down-to-earth job. Like a hairdresser. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't that mean that your sisters wanted you to do the same job they did? I think one of your sisters is a hairdresser, right? Mm. Yeah, that's my middle sister. When I was a kid, my sister gave me very unusual haircuts, saying it was a practice. Eh? No, I feel jealous. But I have to say, they have a point. I'll have to cut my hair when it grows long. But I don't need to listen to music to live. And of course, we are in no position to say that, but from a general view, that's the truth. <sighs> that's very utilitarian. How many colors would this world lose? Do the necessities of life be the only things that are allowed to exist? Music, religion, and even wars are what build up human civilization. Hmm. I know Hasumi Dono and the others would say that wars bring nothing but destruction. But I was not speaking on my own opinion. It's simply written in the head of a son from a samurai family. Yeah. You don't need to explain this, Kanzaki. I'll be rather concerned if you only give me model answers. Just 
Just keep on frustrating me with a sudden snotty attitude or something from time to time. <laughs> what? But I've already been frustrated enough in a physical sense. After all, you just won't give in your sword no matter how many times I lecture you. As a result, I've become so used to seeing you with a sword that I even feel weird when you're not wearing it. That's also what my fans told me. There was a time when the stage was so close to the audience, and I left my sword backstage just in case of any accidents. My fans were all like, what happened to your sword? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the case, it's weird to walk around with a sword in modern Japan. I left it behind because it's dangerous, right? I don't care if it's a period drama, but it's not appropriate for someone in the modern age. Ah. And, well, there was a lot of chatter about such things at the summit. In our eyes, the, music's, the special music zone is nothing but an old story, and its location is far from the reclaimed land where ES is located. The other agencies may laugh at us, saying it's our own problem, but we are indeed we all indeed stand on the foundations of the past. We can say the special music zone in question is under the direct control of Rhythm Link, and that's why we simply cannot ignore it as someone else's business. Well, that doesn't mean that we can interfere. The units from Unomosaki are powerless newcomers to this long-established agency. There's probably nothing you can do about it, even though you know this problem exists. Well, what Tagari said was right. It's not the idol's job to deal with some deteriorating public safety. So. You are right. All I can do is caution you against getting yourselves involved. We were warned through the whole summit, and that's what I wanted to share with you this time. Ugh. Times change, and so do people. I'm not a god who is expected to manage and run everything in this world. And you are no longer a politician who takes measures for the good of the world and its people. Am I right, Hasumi? You see, outside of our small classrooms, there's only so much we can do. But... A few days later, after school at the ES. <sighs> I had a class at the academy for the first time in a while, and I felt exhausted. This must be what Hasumi Dono meant about unusual fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I came out of the mouth of a hard-nosed top student. The last year it was you who always complained about our attitude towards life and such. So how come it's reversed now? Makes me think you're out of shape, huh? You and that bastard glasses are really alike in the way that you're both clumsy and unable to adapt to a change in the environment. <sighs> you are right. Not only me, but all members of Akatsuki seem to be spinning out of control these days. <sighs> Actually, Undead's in the same boat. We just can't get used to how it is it to how it's like in ES. I know it can't be helped since we're now divided into graduates and current students, but I guess we're not all on the same page, you know? <sighs> So I have time like this in which I just don't know what to do. It's like I'm just wasting my time. Damn it. Oh. I heard that my seniors are recording some weird variety show. What are you doing today? Hmm. I have no idea. They mentioned that they had some work to do, but I haven't heard any details. Hmm. I told them I was finally going to show up at school since it wouldn't be a good idea to be absent forever. I received replies such as, That's good. Study hard. I'm hoping. I heard that Hasumi Dono and Kiryu Dono were doing some minor work, but they did not ask me to join them or help them. I suspect that whether I'm there or not, it doesn't make a difference to them. It may sound like I'm spoiled, but I feel like I'm lonely and being neglected. I understand that it is a student's duty to study, but if possible, I would like to stay with my seniors forever. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you Akatsuki guys are known for being a friendly bunch, sharing a strong bond. I know that two years ago, in that gloomy atmosphere, you had to at least support your own people in order to be left standing. <laughs> but mind you, we're different. We're a herd of demons that does whatever he wants, but we won't lose to anyone when we get on that stage. While the weaklings cannot fight unless they arm themselves as a mob, we're invincible and the strongest just by being us. Nah. Right, Adonis? Dots. Oi, what's your problem? 
You hardly talk today. I mean, lately you speak less than usual. Why am I the only one chatting away with Zaki? Isn't he your buddy? Mm -hmm. I said stop calling me Zaki, please. Daga. And I'm really worried since you seem to be carrying a heavy burden. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any problems, please confide them to me. I will always be there for you, I don't know. Ah. I know. No worries. I'm good. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you're not. You just see he's worried because you're not okay. Right, Zaki? I don't plan to argue with you about that name anymore. Oga Midono. <laughs> In any case, ever since the briefing session of the summit, I noticed that you seemed gloomy, Adonis Dono. Did the meeting leave you any concerns? Mm. Ah, really? I thought we talked about nothing special. Just some trivial vampire general stuff. You nearly made me regret joining you in a rush if all we talked about were things that had nothing to do with us. Mm. You're not wrong. But you all heard some safety concerns about special music zone, right? And that's actually a place I frequented. So they rank to me as so much more than a mere name. I was puzzled because I didn't have the impression that it was an unsafe district, as was mentioned at the meeting. Mm. Well, I didn't go there that often, but... I wondered if the public safety there had worsened rapidly during the days when I was absent. I felt like a tug on my heart. So after the meeting, I went to that special music zone alone. I think, to know what was indeed going on, I had to see with my own eyes. Yeah. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be reckless. It's not safe there, you know? You were going there all by yourself? You should have called me. I'm more used to back alleys than you are, you know? <laughs> you sometimes act like, kid, you think I'm a toddler, Hogami. I was just a bit curious. It was on the way I got my hair done, so... Huh? <laughs> it's your hair done, you say. Oh. <laughs> so you mean your sister who works as a hairdresser? The one you mentioned to us several times? Is living in that special music zone? Soda. Yeah, she lives alone in front of the district station and works at a beauty salon in the neighborhood. She gets angry if I get my hair cut elsewhere, so I would go to her place periodically to get my hair done while updating her on how I'm doing. Hmm. Hmm. So you visit that area regularly? Hmm. Yes, and that's how I get wind of what's happening around that place because my sister will talk on the phone even if I don't ask. But what I heard from her didn't match the information I got at the meeting, so I was confused. I guess people may have different opinions when they hold different perspectives. It just didn't seem right. Mm. Another day, after treating me to dinner, my sister walked and talked with me for a bit in the area, and I found that atmosphere was still as peaceful as before. But in the meeting, they said that area had become a place like a slum because of the failure of revitalization had further deteriorated the public order. I don't think it can be called a slum. It's exaggerated. But well, I got that impression from their description. I heard a lot of bad rumors about the area from people in the live in the live houses too. I don't think all the rumors were false though. In fact, people living in the area were not aware that it was a special music zone. Oh. Knowing this, I looked around the town and found monuments and signs everywhere that read something like, Welcome to the City of Music. But they were all covered in dirt, and many of the music stores had been built where firmly shuttered. But I was sure that this place indeed would so used to be a special music zone. I don't like the term special music zone, it sounds like yeah, kindergarten. It does. <laughs> It's like the haiku goes, summer grasses are all that remains of warrior's dreams. I have never hmm. been to this special music zone, but now it looks like nothing would be fitting its name, right? So Indeed. You don't seem to find many similar places in Japan, so it's hard to say it looks like some everyday town. Yet it seems that it has become a place where many low-income people and those from overseas live. Cool. So that's why they call it a slum. Is it really a slum? <laughs> <laughs> Does it? <laughs> no, I told you it's not. 
They all had permission to buy their houses and live the same way as other people in this country. Let me think. The word downtown may be more suitable. Perhaps the special music zone concept ended up being no more than a dream, and the buildings of the stores that went out of business were sold at a low price. And many people came and rented them to save money. Yeah, the special music zone was established kind of more than a decade ago. You bet people who live there changed after such a long time. Hmm. And the atmosphere and impression of the town vary with the change in residence. Hmm. Yes, and from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like things have changed for the worse by any means. My sister is working there as a hairdresser, and she told me that there was nothing disturbing at all. Hello, Spooky. Well, come in. Living together in a foreign country, people there all get along well and support each other. The reciprocal support system has also developed well there, so many struggling students in this country have moved to that area. And also, it looked like a safe place. The other day I was walking around with my sister, and she said it's okay to go alone at night. Everyone in that area knows my sister, and they'd protect her. Also, more police officers are working there than anywhere else. <laughs> These police officers are taking their duty seriously, and no single track of corruption has ever occurred. Well, we rarely hear about such things in this country recently, though. Oh, no. Uh, sounds like it's a much safer place. Much safer than some busy streets in the Yumenosaki neighborhood, or Time Street near the ES, which is said to be the best place for nightlife. Hmm. Yes, so I thought it was weird, and I asked Sakuma in private what it was all about. Since he always explained everything plainly and made everything easy to understand. Does he? Does he, though? <laughs> I don't think he does, but... Hmm. But Sakuma explained to me with a sad look on his face. He said the impression that the special music zone dropped among the higher-ups in the agency because the area didn't develop into what they'd hoped for. And they seem to have developed a negative impression because of the people gathered there. All they see is a deteriorating public safety, though it's not true at all. I don't understand. Coming from another country is fairly normal, but is it unpleasant in local people's eyes? Yeah. No, it is not. No one should be discriminated against because of their origin. This is the rule of the world. Besides, we are far past the era of, era of seclusion, and it's by no means wartime now. Uh. Yeah, but people in this country tend to exclude eccentrics. Or rather, they tend to be creeped out by those who are different from everyone else and stay away from them. I mean, having seen Sakuma and the others two years ago, you should know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Yes, but at the same time, I was protected well so that I wasn't treated in that sort of way. Yeah. It got better recently. In the beginning, someone would stare at you if you were just walking by. You know, it wasn't your fault at all. Those people are too close-minded. Ah. To honest, Dono, I think you are gentle both for your appearance and your soul. But your robust build might make some someone like small children feel somewhat scared. All things considered, I still see their reactions as unnecessary. Someone who walks around wearing a sword like me is reasonably scary for small children. <sighs> Everyone will know you are kind, gentle, and harmless soul as long as they talk to you, even just for a few words. There are indeed people who avoid others just because they look different from them. Mm. I see. I thought they kept their distance from me because of my look, so I was concerned and worked hard to try to improve it. I don't think that effort was in vain, though. I was so blessed that I didn't even consider the possibility that they kept their distance from me because I looked different from them. <sighs> I am very grateful for not having realized it before, but at the same time, it pains me to think uh, of the people in the special music zone who are subjected to unjustified prejudice. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what I should do. As I concluded in the recent meeting, it is not the job of idols to deal with such problems, it should be left to the government and the police. Dono. But I want to be a singer like my mother. She could put smiles on crowning people all over the world, even if it's only for a brief moment. No, to be exact, I want to be an idol like her. My sister also lives right there. 
And I believe I'll never realize this dream if I pretend not to see the people in my immediate surroundings. Learning the Adonis lore. Yeah, I don't know anything about his lore, actually. <laughs> As much as, like, I feel like I've read a decent amount of, like, undead stuff, but, like, it's not, like, about him, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's fair. A few months later, three weeks after MDM, on a late September night. Oh. And this is the Revenging Demon Brothers on the Wasteland, and it's considered one of the best episodes in Vampire General Season 7. <laughs> Apparently the production team has a surprise had a surplus of gunpowder, so they arranged many scenes of drastic explosions. To think that it was just a period drama, but his explosion scenes even changed the shape of a mountain there. Mm -hmm. Well, sounds like something Morisawa would love. I think it's nice and flashy, but I still don't get quite the flow of the story. Oh. Well, revenge stories are rare today. However, according to the law during that time, the brothers' actions were considered righteous. If you watch with that in mind, I think it's an easy to understand good versus evil drama. Oh. <laughs> I guess revenging was legal in that era. What? <laughs> Under modern values, Sunayoshi looks like a lunatic who forced children to kill people. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yes, this was how justice looked back then. When I was a child, I was immersed in the story without question and was even moved by it. But now I feel many things are not right when I watch it again like this. I guess nowadays people can't just air without editing. <laughs> yeah, and there will be a lot of beeps in it. I know sometimes my words sound rude, so I pay attention to such stuff. <laughs> Unlike you guys, I didn't grow up in a very refined place. Yeah. You didn't do anything wrong, Kiryu. It was your surroundings' fault. Mm. And I think that's why we need those regulations. If you build a world with only refined and pure things, the children of future generations will be able to live in a slightly better environment. Mm. I don't know. I see the world is still as filthy as ever. If we don't immunize our children with stories like this, they'll die of shock when they're exposed to the real world. Yeah. You underestimated human beings. I understand, though, but that in your eyes, everyone around you seems weak. <laughs> I'm not that arrogant. And hey, it's about time you corrected your opinions through watching others. Having Kanzaki and me as your subordinates doesn't necessarily mean that you've gotten stronger. <laughs> what is he doing here? <laughs> Mama jump scare? I had no clue he was in this. Same. <laughs> it's all of a sudden here. I was just about to say, like, this event seems pretty well, like, split between our two parts, but no, this chapter's all you. <laughs> yeah, Madara does not help the balance either. Hello, Mama Dayo. I don't like his shirt. That pocket is way too big. <laughs> it's, like, huge. <laughs> it is. In there. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Thought you were having some grand talks, but you were watching a movie together, huh? You two are truly an old married couple now, aren't you? What a scene. Bruh. <laughs> it's hard to see you at Seisokan apartment, Mikojima. Aren't you still hopping go around all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> not as much as last year, I guess. Ray knows I'm not busy, so he gives me some work. He only does what he wants to do now, so I'm taking care of the trivial things. Ah. I want to repay Ray for all the help he gave me while I was in school, and I'm quite grateful to be able to travel around. The US area is simply so suffocating. Mm. I see. Then why need you to get off your lazy ass and settle down? Uh -huh. <laughs> you sound like my mom, but I'm the one who's supposed to be the mom, you know? Don't take it away <laughs> from me, okay, Kuro? Let me give you a hug. <laughs> oi, oi. Don't hug me, you spoiled brat. Give me a break. The summer's heat's still around. Didn't know you guys were this close. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you jealous, Hasumi? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> we're not the best of friends, but we both had a lot of free time around until around MDM. So we were hanging out together randomly, like going out to eat. 
Mm. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Guto is the perfect playmate for, playmate for me, since he'll never be crushed even if I get serious. All right. I won't forgive you if you are to poach Kiryu from me, Mikajima. <laughs> it seems that man is still a solo unit, but that double whatever is a regular unit, right? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to gather your own people there and form an army to crush ES? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know what peop what people think of us, but double face is nothing like that. Boy. Oh God, it's him. <laughs> hey there, <laughs> hey there, big guys. <laughs> Do not block the common room with your enormous figures. With your presence, the little kids may be too scared to enter. Still, you should not be so loud in the middle of the night. <laughs> Here comes the nagging old neighbor. <laughs> Good evening, Ray. I have almost finished all the work you assigned me. Recently, my buddy from Doubleface has been helping me out, so I got them done in a blink of an eye. Mm. I see. Take good care of your buddy, Mikajima. I'm sure you can go anywhere by yourself. But it can still be lonely traveling alone. Yeah. Well, we're not sharing that kind of a relationship. I think of him as a business partner with whom I work only occasionally because of mutual interests. <laughs> Say what you want, but eventually you will be attached and find it hard to leave him. Like master, like pupil. Taking after me, you would certainly... Well, I am a self-proclaimed successor of yours, Ray, but I have no intention of becoming your pupil. <laughs> yeah. We aim for different places, so what you said sounds like classifying bicycles and airplanes as the same kind of vehicles. What? <laughs> Agreed. You need to do something about being sloppy at times. You're hopeless. Mm? Oh? I wonder why I am the one being blamed now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the one who nagged that we were too loud, and that's our revenge. <laughs> <laughs> it was not my intention to spite you. I guess an old man's ramblings are a nuisance to young people. Koga also told me that I, that I stink. <laughs> that I stink of preaching, so perhaps I have aged more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's the downside of having a weird characterization. Kinda of ashamed to let it override you, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> hey, I'd rather not be overridden by my characterization. I want to be your real mom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> not at all. What the hell? Mm. <laughs> yeah, you on the other hand are so lame for trying to force yourself into a character that doesn't even fit you. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think you looked more alive. Or more like yourself when you were in double face. Mm. Huh? But wouldn't you like it if it, they made you dress like a Yakuza, a gangster, just because you look like one? Would you, Kuro? Don't you want something like dressed in a cute apron and feeding your baby or something? <laughs> yeah. I have no such desire. What do you think I am? Great question, Kuro. <laughs> I know what you are. <laughs> No, like, Mama was always like, I'm the next Ray Sakuma, but it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Unhinged. I remember him saying that he's like, I'm his successor, and everyone's like, but like, how though? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You're making too much noise. It's alright to chit-chat, but at least keep your voices down. And Sakuma said, it is midnight now, and you'll be disturbing the neighbors. Mm. Well, we might have forgotten it since we got carried away and lost track of time. But for tomorrow's sake, maybe we should also go to bed. Mm. No, I'll be so lonely. I do not have the same pace of life as the kids in my dorm. During the nighttime, I would often take a walk outside my dormitory room, or spend my time in the library. Chasing the printed pages of text while destroying my eyesight. Oh, you need glasses. <laughs> <sighs> no thanks. Actually, I can see much better at night. Uh. No, I mean I often have no choice but to spend the night alone. I'm rather thankful that you are awake today. Mm. I'd usually go to Kaudukun for company on this occasion, but since it seems his roommate Yuta is going through a sensitive period, 
He told me that my presence would provoke Yuta in a strange way, so Kaudukun would shut me out even if I sought to play together with him. Ma. As a matter of fact, it is indeed not the best interest of those children if I forcefully solve the problem for them. Just like how, on the other day during the operetta, Ritzy was also angry with me. If I were to extend my fingertips to someone but end up hurting them, I'd have no choice but to keep my distance. <laughs> yeah, they'll be pissed off at you for treating them like kids. Don't be too overprotective. The genies are a lot tougher than we think. Mm. Hmm. I understand that. But it is hard to break a long-standing habit. Even if I think we have overcome it, the distortions and bad habits that are etched into my soul will soon resurface. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to keep pretending and live with it while correcting the distortion a little at a time. If you push too hard, you'll get a crack somewhere and break. I remember you used to look like a corpse when you forced yourself awake during the day. Oh. Don't overdo it, as no one's gonna gain. You'll make a bigger fool of yourself if you get sick and die from it. Mm. I see. Kaudukud once said the same thing to me. Coming from a person who has lost a beloved family member, his words were, were sound and heavy. Oh, were sound and heavy. Soulka. Nah, Akaze lost his mother too. No wonder I sometimes feel we're somewhat alike. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Indeed, the two of you might get along better than you think. Unfortunately, Kaudukun is mine, so I do not want you to get too close to him. Oi. Kiryu is mine too. If you want to get especially <laughs> close to someone, get my permission first, Kiryu. Wow. Mataku. You know, Hasumi. Sometimes you can be quite possessive. I don't know much about temples, but isn't possessiveness some taboo there? Mm. You are right. We usually deem that kind of feeling as evil, so it seems I still have a long way to go until enlightenment. But of course, I would, since I have not practiced properly. Suka. Now I see you guys are childhood friends after all, so sometimes you're exactly alike. And the way your reactions just now was in perfect sync, like you had a prearranged meeting. <laughs> Don't compare me to him, you're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> we are all human beings, so there must be some similarities between us. We are all looking at the world through a pair of eyes, and the view we see will not differ much. We are all about the same. It's not like some of us have three to four eyes, after all. <laughs> oh. I guess so. We'll probably be more alike if you spend a lot of time together. There are exceptions, though. Like me and my childhood friend Itsuku. Shu. Aww. Mm -hmm. Is that so? I think you are quite similar. Aren't you both into sewing? <sighs> so just why are you so sloppy in understanding others? <laughs> He's like, you have this one thing in common, you must be so much alike. <laughs> I guess that is the downside of pretending to be a god. I don't say it in a physical sense, so I think I can fix it if I'm still more attentive. But I'd given up on trying to turn my biological clock, or rather, I've decided not to push myself too hard. Mm. Seeing Ritsu looking sick in the sun, or seeing my roommate Tensho in coughing while doing paperwork, Makes me think that forcing yourself to do your best is simply self-satisfaction. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I thought Aichi was looking healthier than he'd been in years, though. So it's still. Oh, I forgot he's in something. love with Aichi too. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yes, I suppose he had drained out after the mess with MDM and other things. He is a human child too. Well, perhaps he enjoys being cared for by other by the other roommate, who would rush to his side when he's ill. Yeah. But I could never take a leaf out of his book, for I was never much of a spoiled child. Yeah. No, I thought you were rather spoiled last year. Were you taken after for by Anzu, the twins, Ogomi, and the likes? Hmm. Well, I think it was because I looked weak. And those children who were incredibly kind came and took care of me. Is that what it means to be spoiled? I see I was spoiled by everyone after all. What else? Did you think you were served by a group of followers or something? 
Are you telling me that you're rewarding them for their service by giving them some occasional grace? Is that what your relationship was with them? Yeah. I would like to deny it, but perhaps there was a part of me that thought so. Jenna. That would be disrespectful to the children who love me and stand by my side. I, too, must relearn to communicate to them as equal human beings instead of a god who is talking to his followers. I would start by <laughs> learning how to let others spoil me by following the example of Ritsu. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back. Mom's always looking for his little sweetheart to spoil. <laughs> Mm. Not gonna lie, I forgot he was there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. He just kind of disappeared. Eh? But you are not my type, Mikajima, because you seem scary and boisterous. On the other hand, Hiryu would gently let me sleep on his lap, will you not? Oh, uh, what the heck? You have the right to choose who to spoil, Sakuma. Why would I go so far as to put some big old man to sleep when it's not my own child or anything? Shiku, shiku. Sob, sob. Mom Kuro abandoned his baby, so little Ray will sleep on Papa Kato's lap. <sighs> that's, that's prime Ray Sakuma <laughs> right there. <laughs> that's how he is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Don't get close to me. It's sweltering. Mm. <laughs> Indeed, the summer heat still lingers in the night. Is this also the reason why you're staying up late? Yeah. No, I simply couldn't stop watching the period drama once I started, so I ended up late. Oh. Yeah, this guy has already bought a DVD box or whatever of Vampire General, and he watches it endlessly in the dormitory. Apparently he wanted to share his thoughts while watching, so I sat with him. Mm. Yes, and I thank you for that, Kiryu. To me, it's a memorable series, and I have loads of things that I want to share with you. I'm in a position where I can't post my thoughts on social media and such, so I'm glad to have someone listening. <sighs> I guess buying DVDs like this won't change the fact that Vampire General will be cancelled. But I wanted to at least do something for the TV series I love. Mm hmm? Hmm. Do you really afford to hang around and watch DVDs like this? You, Akatsuki, have shown your ability and staged a comeback at MVM. So I assume you probably have more work now, right? Yeah. It's not that easy. Of course, there have there has been more work, and I feel we are on the right track. But we cannot afford to be optimistic yet. Not to mention that we still got the issues with the big names in our agency. So, Jano. Indeed, in this long-established agency rhythm link, we are experiencing a major upheaval. The veteran idols have begun to strike back making it difficult for us to get jobs, especially during the daytime. Hmm. <laughs> you talk as though it's someone else's problem. Wasn't that also part of your plan, though? You set it up in a way that you could get nighttime jobs in which you performed the best, didn't you? Oh. Also, in the first place, you were talking about the veterans striking back as if it were an abdominal da disaster. But I think this big tide is in our favor. The stronger the agency becomes, the more benefits its affiliates will receive. Of course, there are some downsides too, such as it's harder for us younger people to get jobs. Mm. With the recent pop and party, the incident with rabbits was also quite galling. I worry that the tragedy will repeat itself again. I know this opinion of mine is quite arrogant, but still. Oh. My roommate Shino said to me with a smile that they were alright, but they were in a bit of a tough spot, so they'd be happy to get some help. And he told me he would help us at Kotsky when we were in trouble. Cute. I forgot that he was roommates with Hajime though. Shino no. <laughs> yeah, Shino no. <laughs> These kids are growing up. We have to keep up our game. Mm. Right. If everyone continues to look forward and work hard in this way, this ES, no, this world will become more endearing. <laughs> Mama Daya's <is> still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was worth all the troubles after all, wasn't it, Ray? Hmm. I knew you were the one doing all the plotting, Sakuma. I was wondering why you hadn't made any moves until MDM, but now I see you've been laying the groundwork for this day. <laughs> No, I do not mean to sound like a conspirator. 
Ah. I merely did something everyone else, every normal human being, would do. I was just making an effort in my own way, praying to the god and saying, I wish this is how it would become. <laughs> I just poke around at various forces here and there sometimes and try to blow ideas into big wigs heads while entertaining them. And in the name of removing that poison that crazy bee had spilled, I am, little by little, reforming the system of EX. That's exactly what plotting is like. You're hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Sobbing. Uh, I see that people will complain regardless of whether I've made a move or not. It's truly a hard world we live in. I can understand why the ancient samurai left us with the saying that to live is to find the way to death. It's because to live is to move forward and to hurt one another. If you want to remain a beautiful soul that never hurts anyone, you have to disappear like a dream. You have to die. But you won't just give it up halfway like this, will you? You won't be satisfied with just letting the veterans do their job and thus revitalizing and benefiting the agency. For Rei Sakuma, that would be too small a scheme. No, it's even too small for a wish you're holding. Oh. I'm sure your plans extend much farther to a much broader scope, but after all these years, I still cannot read any of your thoughts. But I know at least this is that this is not the end. Allow me to commit the folly of asking the author about the truth. What on earth are you up to, Sakuma? <laughs> it would be no fun for me to reveal the whole picture to you like a villain in a story, right? Hmm? Think carefully, Hatsumi. No, you must show enough determination to read my intentions and use them to your advantage. I still have high hopes that you have the capacity to do so. As a matter of fact, I've always believed and known that you do live up to my expectations. In the office. Yep. A few days later, at the briefing space inside the Rhythm Link office. Mm. Therefore, we have decided to hold a collaborative live between Undead and Akatsuki. Mm. No, I don't understand what you're what you mean by therefore. Don't break the story, Sakuma. It's a bad habit of yours. No. Hey, Nikaze, you think so too, don't you? Yeah. Eh, well, I'm getting more used to that abruptness of yours, Ray. I know from experience that what he's gonna do would not be complete nonsense and that every time he does it, he seems to have a certain goal or idea in mind. It's not Ray that's worrying me. Actually, I'm feeling awkward because Anzu is present. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel this awkwardness between you two since the repayment festival. What happened? Mm -hmm. I guess you could say I'm the only one concerned about it. Oh, what did Speaky say? I don't know why, but Ray gives me... I don't actually know what I'm doing right now, but everyone else thinks I do, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <Pretty much>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the least situation I want to handle. To think that I always thought I was someone who could maintain an inappropriate distance from others. <sighs> it's really discouraging, you know. It makes me underperform as an idol, so I can't get good results on the occasions where Anzu is involved. I'm trapped in a vicious circle. But at the same time, these occasions are exactly the ones in which I want to shine to the fullest. Oh. It sounds like you're overdoing it since you're too self-conscious. Do you need a massage from me? What is going on? What? <laughs> Hmm. Okay, but I don't know why you're caring for me today, Kiryu. Did I do something to make you like me? <laughs> no, it's just that I thought we'd never get along. But I guess I did something- did find something in common between us. <laughs> but I know you may not like it when some fierce-looking guy like me stays close to you. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm glad. I've been trying to get along with everyone as much as possible without causing any trouble. You see, it can't be helped that you learned how to read others when you grow up in a strict family. Oi, <laughs> Gora! Put your chit chats already, you annoying seniors. Don't you see Adonis is trying to say something? Just shut up for a minute. Mm. I agree. Akaze Dono, don't let your frivoly, frivolity <laughs> spread to <laughs> Kiryu Dono. Eh? Hey, why do you say like it's my fault? Kiryu was the one who started the talk. So I guess I'm still paying for my previous everyday behaviors, huh? Hmm? 
But my stuff is not important now. What do you want to say, Adonis? Hmm. Hmm. I was looking over the materials I suppose Anzu had compiled, and I had a lot of questions. But a Q&A session would be more efficient after I've heard a full explanation, so I won't speak up now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, just say it right away. There's no good in holding back if you don't want a lot of things to build up and then explode later. And that's exactly what happened on the repayment festival when the good kids you had held back until then exploded all over the place, and it was a big mess. Oh. Yes, silent characters are only cool in fiction, Otagari. In reality, people prefer talkative ones, and they get things done more easily. <laughs> Experience speaks. I see. I'll ask a brief question then. Although it may probably be explained later, I still wonder why there is no song list yet when we're going to hold a collaborative live. Also, looking at the costumes and the gist of the performance, I think it's more like a theater. Mm. Yes, it's because we've hardly made a name as performers in the theater, or rather, the general drama family. Therefore, we had to call it a collaborative vibe in order to warrant support from our agency. Oh. So you're lying to get money from the agency. That's fraud. Koda. Hey, Koga, don't talk like that. Lies come in handy at times, and strictly speaking, it's not a total lie since we still sing songs during intervals. Hmm. Yes, I do not know about other agencies, but here at Rhythm Link, past performances, traditions, and conventions talk loudest. Veteran idols who have been inactive for a while are given preferential treatment because they are such big names who created an era in the past. They have a proven track record. Ah. So you can't just deem such conventions meaningless. A proven track record means they've had their capabilities approved, and they're likely to generate stable profits with a large fan base. It is not a complete waste of money that the agency has been paying out a considerable amount of renewal fees every year to keep them there. <sighs> yeah, I heard those veteran idols are getting a lot of unearned income like that. I know it's not a bribe, it's just a normal salary. I just hate it when they make money while slacking off. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That is why a large number of reconstructing happened during the summer. They did it for the sake of improving the health of organizations through self-cleansing. It's like metabolism. This is the inevitable fate of an organism or organization. If you fail to do so, you will have to wither and die. <laughs> Sounds like some revolution to get rid of the old guys who do nothing but eat up their interests at hand. The rocks. Ma. Well, we are not living in a game. In reality, things don't work out that easily. Those veteran idols are human beings with brains, too. They are frustrated with this big tide, and they take countermeasures. Mm. Indeed. Counterattacks from the big names are gaining momentum day by day. I would still call it a good trend, given that it has energized the whole agency. Still, uh. young people do feel unfair, since we are talking about the brunt of their actions and getting fewer jobs than before. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was the purpose of the saga project they were working on all last year. The return of veterans will revitalize the industry as a whole. At the same time, they will not belittle the younger generation. Instead, they will inspire them and make them shine more. Although the saga project was nothing but a pipe dream at the time, I believe it is the agency's policy, or rather, the heads of ES that can make it viable. Mm. I have my own thoughts on this. Uh, how wonderful it would be if an ideal as lofty as such could become a reality. I think I might read one more and then I might have to call it. <laughs> okay. And I will address Spooky's comment real fast. This is also the same game that had the protagonist say multiple times that they're not the protagonists. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said that a lot. Yeah. Like, it was funny once. <laughs> <But> like... <laughs> <laughs> you're still talking like it's someone else's story. But you're the one who's pulling the strings behind the scenes, aren't you, Sakuma? Mm -hmm. Well, who knows? In the current so-called ES summons, I am devoting my role to assisting Hospital, a representative for Rhythm. I do not have the authority to make things work the way I want them to. 
I mean it, really. No. Don't copy my pet phrase. Okay, Ray. I'm being held as a representative and all, but I feel like I'm just a convenient human sacrifice. No, more precisely, I'm being framed. Hopeless. I should have known better than anyone that Sakuma was going to do it that way. <sighs> a truly skilled con artist does not even let the other party suspect that they are being cheated. Everyone gives it their all to do what they want, under the illusion that they are acting out of their own will. And they succeed and feel a sense of accomplishment, even happiness. But in fact, they would not even realize they were just dancing in the palm of the Buddha's hand. Mm. Back in that dead man's life, the con man himself told me he was fooling me around. I'd say that was kind enough. At least not totally cold-blooded. Who is that con man? Unlike this one, dead man's life was a game full of mutual deception, was it not? I only revealed the truth after I played with you according to the rules. Yes, I was fooled despite knowing that you were bound to set me up. I'm still ashamed of my past self. <laughs> if you think about it, all the people here are the ones who were present at Dead Man's Life. Oh, so true. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, so... You don't?! <laughs> no, it's not Knights or Valkyrie related, so I know nothing. Have you heard the song, um... Death game holic or whatever? No. It is a good song and I will be sending it to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, we held different standings and neither Undead nor Akatsuki even existed. But now we're meeting up like this and saying we're going to do a live together. Life is so strange and interesting, isn't it? Mm. Indeed. You are right, cutie. Even I wouldn't have thought that it would come to this... That we would come to this day. Do you agree, Hasumi? Those who pull the puppet strings may pretend that they are transcendent. But in fact, they too are no more than tiny stones in this vast amount of universe. Ah. There's no need to mourn for it. We, those tiny stones, have turned into sparkling stars named idols. Since the young lady Anzu and the fans out there keep shining their light on us. And that's why we initiated this very project. <laughs> You're good at somehow summing things up and getting back to the main topic, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> the older, the wiser. The soldiers have their own way of fighting. If it is an unforgivable sin for them to do, to disappear in- Ah, I skipped. No, no. For them to disappear in silence, I should at least do what I can. <laughs> Alright, I apologize for being completely off the topic. Is there anything else you want me to do at once to ask me, Adonis? Ah. Yes, and it concerns me more than my last question. This life will take place in the special music zone, right? Soda. Yes, actually. It's been brought up on the summit agenda several times since the summer break. Right now, there are already plans on redeveloping the special music zone that Rhythm Link once invested in. This time, it appears that not just Rhythm Link, but the ES intends to redevelop that area. This is my personal opinion, but I think they're going to turn the special music zone into what they should call the second ES. Well, this reclaimed land that we are standing on is already filled to capacity. It is more spacious and functional than Yuminosaki Academy, but in this vast world, it is just another tiny courtyard. Therefore, ES must be planning to reach out and expand its territory here and there. Hmm. We shall build bases in various locations and expand the Utopia for idols as far as possible. Eventually, we shall take over this world and color it all our way. <laughs> ah, it sounds as though we are not merely an organization of idols who support each other, but some evil secret society that aims to conquer the world. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much right. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. After all, for one who was born into this world, there probably is no greater honor than to aspire for the top. Mm. But it doesn't change the fact that this sounds quite ridiculous. It is not realistic. It is more like a dream. Oh. Yes, but some want to make it a reality. I say this as if it were someone else's problem. We were already a part of it from the moment we joined ES. Mm. It may sound hopelessly ridiculous, but I suppose it would be interesting if such a thing were really possible. It's like I'm reading a manga. In the past, I used to wish I could live in such a story. Looking back, it's just the ramblings of a child who can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy. 
but I did desperately hope to be part of a lovable story, even though I could not always be the hero. And later, realizing that I wasn't given those good roles, I put in my all to try rewriting the whole story myself. I wonder if that was just another rebellion coming from my immaturity. You better not pretend to have seen through it all while concluding the whole thing with such simple terms. Aren't you and I yet to be called an adult? No one should blame children for talking about their dreams, should they? <laughs> hmm. Who do you think is responsible for my decrepit mindset? Hmm. I see. It must have been my fault then. In that case, let me at least do something to heal the wounds I've inflicted on you. We would be no less of a monster if we hurt others in different ways. I don't need that. I've already come to terms with my mind, and I even overdid my revenge by naming you the Five Eccentrics and defeating you. And actually, I should be in a position to pay for my sins. <laughs> Our relationship is rather complicated. Do you think that we used to be innocent, carefree children who just played with sticks in our hands? So Alright, time to get back to the topic. He says that so much. <laughs> To mark the beginning of the Special Music Zone redevelopment plan, we will hold an event to celebrate the opening of a newly built lighthouse there. As for why we do it, well, there are complicated political reasons. Although it was decided that the entire ES would redevelop the Special Music Zone, the area nevertheless is under the direct control of it. And we are proud to say that we were the first to get our hands on it. Well, People may very well say that we are in no place to assert ownership for the area, since we did fail the first time, and we just left there until now. I know the feeling. People don't like it when their possessions, or so they think, are taken away from them. Uh oh? Why are you looking at me, Sakuma? I didn't take anything from you. I just picked up something you threw out yourself since you decided you didn't want it anymore. Hmm? Hey, what are you talking about? <sighs> Oh no, there goes the dramas between these men. Adonis. Well, they're at it. Adonis, wanna play Cat's Cradle with your big brother? Yeah. No, I think it's rude to ask a question and then start to play a game without hearing the answer. And you can just turn to Anzu if you have nothing else to do. She seems as confused as you are. <laughs> well, you're bringing me unnecessary trouble. Well, it seems you're destined to be irresistibly drawn to each other, Anzu. Don't you think so? Nah, I'm just kidding. Hey, don't embarrass Lady Anzu. I can't say don't know. I don't know what he calls her. I don't know. Um, look, Lady Anzu is looking as if she's enduring pain. <laughs> as much as I do miss the feeling of reprimanding you on this matter, I still feel it unnecessary to repeat that anyone who hurts a woman doesn't deserve to live. Eh? Wait, wait, why so serious? It's just my uh, usual flirtings, you know? Can't you just let it slide? <sighs> oh gosh. <laughs> These days, I just don't know how I should be treating you, Anzu. I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost Just feel bad for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haru is such an interesting character. Yeah. He's so weird. <laughs> He's gone through a lot, and like, for why? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the story has been very interesting so far. Um, yeah, no, I like it. It's it's giving dead man's. They were like, these, we are all the people from Dead Man's, and I was like, wait, yeah. I think I will be reading Yumi today. She is currently playing I'm on Observation uh, Observation Duty 4. I can speak. Uh, do you have any parting words for chat? Um... So the dead man's lore... No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kato, Ray, and Koga, and they had a song together, and it's like really rockish and it's, it's pretty cool and you guys should listen to it <laughs> <laughs> all right then bye bye everyone
Well, that was.